Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And today we're going to talk about a new pair of Trickers uh, boots uh, that I picked up as part of the Black Friday sale. Um, I'm real excited about these. This is my first pair of Trickers boots. Um, and I went with the classic, uh, which is the Stowe. Now, Trickers, I didn't go through this with the other unboxing, but they come with this great aftercare uh, instructions, which I'll actually take pictures of and post on the channel uh, for you so you can see kind of what it is. Uh, it's multilingual. Uh, given this audience, I'll, I'll post it in all the languages. And then they have this nice little flyer here that's just about, you know, heritage quality at Trickers and, um, you know, a little bit about it. So uh, some cool stuff there. So let's take a look at these boots. Now, these are in a um, hatch grain. Uh, yesterday, I thought that they may have been Utah, uh, but as I feel them, I think the softness that I'm feeling is actually from the lining. The grain is actually um, hatch grain, but I'm not sure if it's NNA or um, Horween. They obviously don't tell you. Um, but take a look at the uh, at the color here. It's just really, really cool. Kind of like a burnished chestnut. Um, and uh, just some really nice uh, depth of color. I think these are gonna photograph really, really well. Now, um, what's interesting is if you look at the welt here, um, it's pretty clean at the toe, and it has these uh, pressure marks there on the side. Stitch density on these is actually fairly good. Um, again, pretty consistent. Definitely in the trouble spots is good. You can see the joint. I know like a lot of guys with Allen Edmonds like to see the welt joint. Um, you know, this is your traditional storm welt. Um, it's not necessarily equidistant. I'm not going to take a measuring tape to it, though. It looks pretty good from far away. And I think it does the job of really illustrating these as a, um, as a super uh, rugged shoe. And then on the inside, the lining... And uh, by the way, they actually still write the uh, the model number and stuff by hand, which is I think is cool. Um, the lining is soft, and when I say soft, I mean this is like Crockett and Jones soft. This is very very soft. If we look at the upper stitching, you know, I would expect these boots, this leather, this construction. I think that my son because my son is the same size as me, he will probably pass these down to his kids. These are very, very tough boots, and I expect them to last. Now look at that little detail there. That's a specific stow detail, and uh, it's kind of a, an interesting little thing to the style. So now this is my first pair of wingtip derby boots in a while. The last pair I had was an Allen Edmonds Dalton, which of course is a much dressier, flat welt, etc. Um, and of course, I've got these in this beautiful hatch grain. Uh, very, very thick leather, as you can see there. And uh, I really think that these are gonna be a great outdoor boot. Um, I actually was thinking about getting a pair of uh, winter boots um, that I would be able to have like as fleece lined, uh, but I'm gonna give my Uggs one more year. Uh, I've been saying that for a long time now. Um, and uh, just uh, see how they uh, continue to perform. But let's take a look now just at, at these in general. And, you know, what is great about them, they have uh, these big metal eyelets. You can see you can put any kind of laces in these and they're gonna be fine. Uh, they've got these really solid day-night soles, um, you know, which is gonna help. Uh, they're it's a softer day-night than some of the others that I felt. I don't know if Trickers has a line exclusively made for them, but this is, very, very similar to the feel of uh, Edward Green Day Night. Not, uh, not the Allen Edmonds one that is a little bit uh, slippery. This has a little bit more grip, more like a Vibram. And uh, as you guys know, Day Night does not equal Day Night, right? Day Night does Commander Souls, they do the Stud Souls, they do Ridgeway Souls, and they have multiple lines within each. Um, and so you see some interesting coloring. Now I got this in the outlet. And I wasn't sure if this is a factory second or if it's a um, just a discontinued um, material because they don't offer this material on the website anymore. Um, so I don't really know that. 
uh, but it doesn't look like a factory second. Um, any of the things that look a little hanky, like the coloring and stuff like that, are probably on purpose uh, because this is, you know, it's a burnished shoe. It's supposed to be like that. And all of this stuff will develop over time as I decide to polish, not polish, etc. with it. Now, as you guys know, I have a lot of hatch grain and I like to polish hatch grain, but these are really kind of rough boots. So I have to decide whether or not I want to um, polish these. But uh, this is uh, Wisconsin Shoe Guy. That is my new pair of Trickers Stowe. Let me know what you think of these boots and what you think of uh, boots for this season. What what are you thinking is going to be the, the main thing? I'm still very much uh, attached to the field boot style. That's going to be what I'm wearing most of the time. But I like this style, and I think that this definitely has a place in my wardrobe. How about yours?